Dragon man is a species of archaic human identified from a nearly complete skull from Harbin, Heilongjiang, northeast China, dating to at minimum 146,000 years ago during the Middle Pleistocene. The skull was discovered in 1933, but, due to a tumultuous political atmosphere, it would not be brought to science until 2018, or named until 2021. The describers considered modern humans to be more closely related to H. Longi than to the European Neanderthals, which may force a revision of the current scientific consensus. H. Longi is broadly anatomically similar to other Middle Pleistocene Chinese specimens, and potentially represents the enigmatic Denisovans, though this is unconfirmed. Like other archaic humans, the skull is low and long, with massively inflated brow ridges wide eye sockets, and a large mouth. The skull is the largest ever found from any human species. The brain volume is 1420 cc. Within the range of modern humans and Neanderthals, the Harbin individual inhabited a cold, stepland environment alongside the woolly mammoth, giant deer, Prewalski's horse, elk, buffalo, and brown bear. The specific name for H. Longi comes from the province from which the specimen was discovered, Heilongjiang. The literal meaning of Heilongjiang in Mandarin is, Black Dragon River. Hence the nickname, Dragon Man. A local contract laborer found a nearly complete skull at the river bank of Songhua River in 1933. When he was building the Dongzhang Bridge in Harbin, Heilongjiang for the Japanese-aligned Manchukuo National Railway, recognizing its importance, likely as a result of public interest in anthropology recently generated by the Peking man in 1929. He decided to hide it from the Manchukuo authorities in an abandoned well. After the Soviet defeat of Manchukuo, he concealed his former Manchukuo National Railway employment from the nationalist and later the communist authorities. Just before his death, the third generation of his family learned of the skull and reclaimed it in 2018. Chinese paleoanthropologist Qiangji persuaded the family to donate it to the Hebei Jiu University for study, where it is currently stored, owing to the skull's tumultuous history, its exact provenience, and thus its stratigraphic context and age, has been difficult to determine. In 2021, Chinese geologist King Feng Shao and colleagues performed non-destructive X-ray fluorescence, rare earth element, and strontium isotope analyses on the skull and various other mammalian fossils unearthed around Dongzhang Bridge, and determined, respectively that all the various fossils from the vicinity probably all were deposited at around the same time, lived in the same region, and originate 12 meters. Direct uranium thorium dating of various points on the skull yielded a wide range of dates, from 62 all the way to 296,000 years ago likely a result of uranium leaching. They statistically determined the most likely minimum age is 146,000 years old. But a more exact value is difficult to determine given the exact provenience is unidentifiable. Nonetheless, the skull is well constrained to the late Middle Pleistocene, roughly contemporaneous with other Chinese specimens from Xiahe, Jinnushan, Dali, and Walong Cave. Neanderthals Homo antecessor Jinnushan Walong Dali Xiahe Harbin Modern Humans in two simultaneously published papers, G and colleagues declared the Harbin skull, catalog number HBSM 2018-00018 then modern humans are with the European Neanderthals. H. Longi is characterized by a low and long skull, receding forehead, exorbitantly wide upper face, a large nasal opening equating to an enlarged nose a wide palate and big tooth sockets, making it the largest archaic human skull to date. It also has the longest supraorbital torus at 145.7 mm. H. Longi had a massive brain at roughly 1420 cc, above the range of all known human lineages except modern humans and Neanderthals. Nonetheless, post-orbital constriction is more developed in H. Longi than Neanderthals, though not as much as more archaic H. Heidelbergensis. Overall, the brain case retains an array of archaic features, though the occipital bone at the back of the skull lacks any notable protuberances. 
story, or massive flexion as is prevalent in more ancient H. Erectus and H. Heidelbergensis populations, and even later Neanderthals, unlike modern humans or Neanderthals, the parietal bones on the top of the head do not significantly expand or protrude. Despite the face being so wide, it was rather flat, and recalls the condition exhibited in modern humans. The far more ancient H. Antecessor, and other Middle Pleistocene Chinese specimens. The H. Longi skull's mosaic morphology of archaic and derived traits converges with some of the earliest specimens assigned to H. Sapiens from Africa, notably Jebel Irhod and Ilya Springs, because the original describers judged the Haban skull to be closely allied with the Ziahe mandible. They believed H. Longi lacked a chin, like other 